what's up what's good what's going on family so today i am going to jump in and check on the person that you are not in contact with see what's going on in that energy what they may want to say to you um just just check that space i, I feel like there's a lot of um people in no communication right now and wondering what's going on there so that they can either move forward or do what needs to be done let's see spirit so um, this is going to be for sagittarius sun moon rising north node venus as well as that ninth house very particular messages here on the mandula awakening for the ninth house but even with that being said guys just take what resonates and bless someone else with the rest okay all right so let's see what is the subconscious message here for the person that sagittarius is not speaking to but has a desire to speak to what's going on what's the subconscious thought spirit thank you this person wants to be more than friends i feel like that you tried to friend zone this person or this person might have tried to friend zone you this person does wish that they could take back their words um wow they feel like that i don't know there was something about this friendship something about this connection that really 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 was a, like it meant a lot to this person I really do feel like that this person has some regret for the way that, like, the words that they spoke, what they said to you. There's some regret there. Let's see, Spirit, where are we headed with this? Let's look at the situation before I... I want to be more than friends. I wish I could take back my words. What's the situation with this person that wishes they could be more than friends with Sagittarius? What's going on with this person that Sagittarius is in no communication with, but yet they wish that they could be more than friends? This person is deeply hurt. There is this energy of just like feeling lost. There's definitely, um, there is, this person is grieving you all absolutely Sagittarius if I'm being honest with you I feel like that you was this person's happy place now what they did they said some things <laughs> not funny but I do Sagittarius I feel like that you was this person's happy place and this person is this person is hurt behind this debacle between you all ace of swords this is my ace of swords that is uh, that is the truth. Um, I feel like that this person is having also like, if I'm being honest with you, it looks like that this person could be having some sort of clarity around this as well. You're going to be hearing from this person. You're going to be hearing from this person. Let's see. Um, there's a need to make sure that you're um, right now. Yeah. I, okay. So we have mask here at the bottom of the deck. So right now, and I do feel like that there's energy of people getting grounded. Okay. People like, I, I don't like this person may even be acting as if they're not bothered. Like if you're doing that stocking thing. I'm going to go see on their page you may not be able to see what i'm telling you um and that is a-okay because you're not supposed to be meddling anyways one two um this person is trying to get themselves stabilized like this person is doing some shadow work is what i'm i don't see shadow work here but i feel like that this person is reflecting on this you know what i'm saying and until so this person becomes makes comfort gets comfortable with this idea internally they're not going to display it externally is what i'm getting so let's let's see what led to the breakup spirit can you can you show us what led to the debacle y'all if y'all are resonating or want to keep going and find out what's going on in this storyline don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It is literally a free way um, to lend your energy to the channel. Give your readers some feedback. It's a free way to donate to the channel.
Can you please clarify heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, feeling lost, grieving, and despair breakup? This is a straight, this is, um, <laughs> like the two of you all might have had like, I, don't, I just feel like that this breakup is short term, honestly. And to be honest with you, if I'm being honest with you, there was something about this words were spoken absolutely but if we're looking at the bigger picture what i'm getting from this is that there was never a, a there was never like a commitment commitment between the two of you all i feel like that there was the hopes of some sort of commitment but there was never a commitment here um but i do feel like that this breakup is going to be short term for those of you all that are resonating with this Whatever separation that there is, there was definitely some sort of quick ending here. I feel like that this quick ending is short term. And the reason why this ending had to take place is one, at the rate that you all were going, I don't think that there was ever going to be a level of commitment offered between the two of you all. Whereas this separation has made some sort of awareness like, hey, now there needs to, like, I need some sort of. Like, where are we going? Where is this heading? What are we doing? Let's get that hammered out. Let's not just go along to get along. You know what I'm saying? There needed to be some sort of grounding to this connection. And I just don't feel like that the path that you guys were headed on, grounding wasn't being offered here. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Anything else on this? Uh, broken heart card spirit. Broken heart in short term. Yeah youthfulness travel um the feminine in this connection could be younger Mm -hmm. The feminine in this connection could be younger. Um, I also feel like there's a message. I'm, I'm, there's some sort of message trying to come in off of this um, youthful card. Um, I feel like that there was some sort of naive thinking as it pertained to this connection. Mm hmm that was confirmation let's move over here to the ace of sword or to sword and roses clarity and truth revelation honor and protection determination why is this here for the person that is not communicating with sagittarius friendship and freedom yes see here's the thing <laughs> like this person is realizing for one that this is an important relationship to them. You know what I'm saying? Um, they re this person is recognizing that they kind of friend zoned you. And... They didn't want that. I don't like they like whatever this casualness is, that ain't what they wanted. That ain't what they wanted. And I feel like that when it was when it became I I don't know. I feel like that that friend zone energy when it became clear that that's what it was, things became very um Someone in the connection that wanted to be more than friends, which I feel like is your person, like the person that you're not in communication with. I feel like that that person wanted to be more than friends. But when they realized that this connection was being friend zoned, um, they kind of became cold um, in their approach in the way that they handled this situation here. Yeah, this person won't.
the Ice Queen Union and the Ice King. This is two people looking at the situation. I want to be friends. I want to be friends. This is better off as friends. But the whole time they like, uh, but is something for me here? Yeah, something was for me. But there wasn't an like there wasn't an acceptance of that. There was this denial of that what was for me. And I feel like that that's why this separation was needed via the universe to really be like, hey, yo, this ain't. I don't care what you thought you wanted out of this. The universe kind of has something bigger. Let's look at grounding. Spirit, what is this? Stability, insecurity, performance, growth, and endurance. Open relationship, destiny. This is this this open relationship is get it is, on the this is something that's gonna be more grounded. It does not stay what I tell you. It gets more grounded. It does. It's not. This is something that goes from a casual connection to something more committed. Let's see. Um, I feel like that the open relationship limits the potential for this connection. And that it like keeping this connection with no type of commitment, with no sort of game plan, no title. That limits the potential for this connection. Um, whereas most people would think an open connection or open relationship keeps the, the potential for growth in that connection. I feel like that that is the complete opposite for this. And I feel like that where this is all headed is growth. I feel like that something that had no commitment is able to see where that has been holding the 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 no commitment the no strings attached gig has really been holding this connection back from its full potential at least that's what i feel like that this person that you're not in communication with is coming to this realization All right, spirit. Show me this person. How does this person, um, how does this person view Sagittarius? How does this person currently view Sagittarius, spirit? Thank you. The Two of Pentacles. Um, they view you as someone who has a lot on your plate. Who has a lot on your plate. Um. They, de they definitely have a lot of love for you. Like They definitely have repressed emotions for you, okay? This person views you as like trying to stabilize, balance out yourself, manage your resources. They have a lot of repressed emotions for you. And whatever these repressed emotions are, they're bubbling up. It's like these repressed emotions, it's becoming a lot for this person to like just hold back it's it's a it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot so if you've not been hearing from this person i do see that coming to an end as this person is gaining some sort of strength to reveal to you to share the truth and the clarity on their emotions for you what is this person's true intentions as it pertains to sagittarius the Eight of Pentacles. This person may want to work with you. But uh, most importantly, this person's true intentions towards Sagittarius is to work this out. Yeah, this person has a vision. Wow. They have a vision and they're strategizing this vision. And they're going to make a leap of faith. I told you. They're going to really make this leap of faith. That's the food card. They're going to really make this leap of faith. And I don't think you see it coming. Hmm. What actions will this person be taking towards Sagittarius in the next seven days? 
Yikes. The Five of Swords. In the next seven days. Mm, mm, I don't like it, Spirit. I don't like it. Oh, the Four of Wands. In the next seven days, this person's actions is the Five of Swords. This person's going to be doing something to win something at all costs. Show me more. Why the Five of Swords for what this person's likely actions are towards Sagittarius in the next seven? Wow, Temperance. Wow, Temperance, Ten of Cups, and the Three of Wands. This person is like there's something... There's something self-sabotaging-y about this. There's definitely something self-sabotaging about this energy. Uh, it's like, here's what I here's what I feel. I feel like that this person may, I'm not going to lie. In the next seven days, what I see is this person doing, like this person might create something just to try to come in and smooth it out. Like this person might try to create some sort of uprising and then try to come in and smooth it out. This could be with temperance coming out. This could have to do with another Sagittarius or this could... Um, I screw what's the what's the five what's the five of wands? I mean what's the five of swords? The ace of swords. I feel like that, that was the truth. This I do. I feel like that this person may like kind of like throw <laughs> like inadvertently throw themselves under the bus. Like this person might try to create some sort of uprising just to be able to I have the solution, Sag. Like that's really what I'm getting. Yeah. And it's because this person is so burdened. Like they got like these emotions is causing someone to be like they repressed emotions is causing someone to not think properly. Okay? They're definitely repressing their true feelings. And this is the way this is the best way that this person knows how to um set themselves up to release these repressed emotions <laughs> what is Sagittarius's advice as it pertains to this person's actions in the next seven days what is Sagittarius's advice I just want to let you know that there are two ace of swords on this board so this person is definitely going to be speaking some sort of truth they're going to be setting themselves up to be put in a position to speak their truth, okay? What is Sagittarius' advice as it pertains to this person's likely actions in the next seven days, Spirit? Wow, we have the Devil card. I definitely feel like your advice is to claim, reclaim your power. With the Nine of Pentacles, yeah, in the judgment here, I feel like that this is really saying that your advice is to reclaim your power. Don't allow yourself to get sucked into and, and chained into this Five of Swords. Detach from the power struggle. Because that's, that's the thing. This person is going to put up some sort of position, like they're going to cause some sort of uprising and it could get easy for you to get sucked into that power struggle but spirit is saying resist reclaim like don't put don't give your power away to that power struggle be patient like be balanced and diplomatic in your approach make wise decisions yes be mindful in the way that you feed into this five of swords mainly because you're getting a heads up in this reading 
Give me a little bit more on advice for Sagittarius as it pertains to this person's actions. Wow, the judgment card is what came out. And then the, the, the Knight of Swords is right back at the bottom of the deck. So definitely, um, when we're speaking about the Knight of Swords, this is really, um, be very direct. Thank you, Spirit. Be very direct. Be very direct and don't really feed into the subliminals and don't 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 give your power away to this okay don't don't go negotiating with somebody that does this person have an ulterior motive yes the ulterior motive is to create an environment where they don't feel like that they're tucking their tail to express their truth that's this person's ulterior motive is to create an environment where they can express their repressed emotions without feeling like they're tucking their tail. So, you know, definitely make sure that you're got like do a real tough self evaluation so that you can get self in order so that if you got self in control, then you can orchestrate how self hand like how you approach this and address this because i feel like that you kind of see this person for exactly what they like you see it you will see it it will be clear to you that this person is trying to prevent from tucking their tail yet they have some words like they got some truths to speak that's really in your favor does this person apologize to Sage? we got the three of swords I feel like that this person is going to cunningly, like, are they going to flat out apologize? No. But I think that it's going to be obvious that, th that this person's heartbroken. Let me get a more concise message, Spirit. The lovers is what came right back. Wow, the two of you will end up with this person. Like you will end up in some sort of partnership. Yeah, it's faded. It, it's absolutely faded. And not only is it faded, whether you know it or not, it is what you've been manifesting. So I've got um Scorpio, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Gemini on the board. Let me get one thing, Spirit. Let me get one thing. One, one, one thing. I'm going to clarify. I'm going to clarify this. Sword and Roses and the Ace of Swords with the No Communications deck. Please, Spirit, if you will allow. Can I get clarity on the Sword and Roses with the No Communications deck? Thank you, Spirit. I never experienced this intense connection. I've never experienced this type of... In, this type of... In, intense connection before okay this ace of swords no one makes me feel the way you do you're the best I know I was wrong by not talking to you would you be open to talking to me now ace of swords Fair. what's the no communication on the ace of swords no one compares to you no matter what happens, my heart will always belong to you. I told you, Sag. I wasn't planning on having anything serious when we met. But I can't deny that I'm falling for you. Wow. Wow. Okay. All right. Let's get a Cupid arrow message and then head on up out of here. There is a need to do some realigning here before that this can like there's some realigning that needs to happen in order for this to fully consummate. All right. What's the Cupid arrow message to close this out for Sagittarius spirit? Confession. 
the, so there's definitely a need to release the truth. Like everyone, you and this person need to speak truth. Release a secret, pursuing virtue through honesty. There's definitely a need to have an honest conversation with this person. If you don't want this person repressing any more of their emotions, then you have to be honest and open with yours as well. There is a need to take a chance. Spread your wings. Confidence that leads to freedom and growth. Growth is happening inside of this connection. You're getting a brand new opportunity here inside of this situation. You will receive an apology. There is a need to be patient with this situation. And make sure that you're balancing shit out. Don't be juggling anything unnecessary. If you don't need it, let it go. It's going to help. It's going to help you. It's going to make space for you to have this conversation because without the space, there's only going to be irritation because you're going to feel like, I don't got time for this right now. But if you balance out and you eliminate unnecessary tasks, you will have the capacity to have this conversation. I love you, Sagittarius. I hope that this helps you on your journey. If this message resonates, we would absolutely appreciate that thumbs up down below. Um, if it really resonated, leave a comment down below. I do read each and every single one of them. If you want to know if this is absolutely your case, we do offer personals. You can head over to the Um, Check out the link down in the description box below for 30% off any and all readings on the website. I absolutely love you guys and I'll catch you on the other side. Love and light.